Hello everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more Frostpunk at the Scar in our extreme difficulty endless campaign on the Rift's map. Uh, a couple things I'm going to change real quick after thinking about it a little bit more. I'm going to cancel both of these sawmills in this current location. Don't think that's actually optimal. What would be better, probably, is to go ahead and build the sawmills down over in this general vicinity. And we can gather up these trees, because I'm already planning on clearing a lot of this out in favor of more workshops, infirmaries, etc. But, why waste several hundred lumber on a uh, very scarce map, right? So, if we place down a couple of quick little sawmills, I think like one here and one here would probably do the job just fine. That should be enough to get us going. We'll get our wood production, we'll clear this area out. And yeah, we waste like a teensy bit of wood when we have to dismantle these later, but nothing compared to the amount we would waste on the map if we don't gather from these trees. Okay, now... We're getting into the second day here. What do we need? Well, first off, we desperately need food. Um, right now, I'm working on some steam hubs. We have not got Hunter's gear, and as much as I do think this could help with our immediate situation, rushing down to hot houses would do this as well. I actually think it was a mistake to go for the steam hubs as aggressively as we did. Uh, I was kind of thinking we're not going to be needing the steam hubs, or sorry, the hot houses, until we have steam hubs. That may not very well be true. May be that we need a bit more than that. So, um... Yeah, shouldn't have done that. Should have instead gone to the drawing boards and started going for the hothouses right away. Hoping that's not going to end up coming back to bite me at all. But it might. It might. Uh, let's see. We're currently trying to build out this hunter's hut just so I can send some more people out to get some of our uh, raw food. We know we are going to certainly need it. Some steel wreckage has been depleted. Good news is it's plenty to get another one of these bridges. We'll then go over in this direction later. And I think it was a mistake to build this gathering post right here. We don't actually have any use for it. I'll temporarily go ahead and assign some people to go and work here, but it, does, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just gather a teeny bit faster, and then we'll end up dismantling this thing. Really don't need it too much. Uh, we still have overdrive on, and I probably shouldn't, but this will get us through a cold period, and the temperature is about to rise. So that will certainly be nice. A lot of people currently hungry, understandably so. Um, we are about to pass a law that should assist with that at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and send everybody out to go and gather up some more food today. There we go. Uh, a law that's going to help assist with this. Now, usually at this point, what I would do is go for the soup, right? And soup is nice because instead of four rations for every two raw food, you get five, right? Uh, the downside of soup is that every time people eat it, you gain some discontent. And on extreme difficulty, discontent is rather crippling. I'm kind of wondering if for the first time ever I should use food additives instead. Um, this does not cause discontent, but it does maybe make some people ill. And that's not great. However, you also do get more food for every, um, for every uh, raw food. You get six rations per two raw food instead of five or four. So it's the best as far as longevity of food. It's the best in that it doesn't cause more discontent. It's the worst in that it kind of overwhelms our medical services. And I think it's somewhat RNG, just how many people are going to be getting sick. Uh, I don't know if there's like a range though. It could be like 2%, could be 10%, could be more or less, I don't know. Um, soup is definitely good. Once we get moonshine, that does help quite a bit as well. <sighs> Do we go for the soup? I do think people getting sick is going to continually be an issue. Maybe it is better to go for the soup. We're going to try to manage the discontent the best we can. And pray that it actually works. Alright. Five raw food rations for every two raw food. It's going to have to be good enough. Alright, so the sawmills are getting built up, which is good. I will be able to start using some of that. Now, I really want to rush hothouses very quickly. Uh, because these hunting lodges are good, but they also are extremely labor-intensive, uh, and as a result, we're not going to be gaining as much uh, food as I really want, and we're also going to be losing up a lot of workers. Whereas, if I were to build two hothouses, we'll produce far more food than these two hunters' lodges, but only take 20 workers instead of 30. And that can make all of the difference. So, hothouses are very important. Beyond that, I also want to rush the infirmary rather quickly. That will be important. Um, let's go ahead and rush uh, some more tech with some emergency shifts. I'm just going to accept the discontent and kind of make some more progress here. We might have an engineer die, but we do have some engineers on the way to replace, so we might be okay. Yes, I know the generator stress levels are critical. We are going to have to turn it off in just a moment. And this is that moment. Temperature is now about to drop. Okay. And yes, I see that the uh, everyone's really upset because they got cold, but they were only cold for a brief second. There we go. Now the medical posts are up and are running again, and the temperature rises. Thank God for that. If we can get up to two more levels, I will happily turn off the generator and try to salvage a bit more coal. Okay. 
Now, beyond this, um, what else do we need to be doing as far as food? Well, beyond going for the hothouses, we need to be getting a coal thumper early on. Coal thumper will absolutely be crucial if we want to get a new source of coal, because these piles aren't going to last forever, are they? No, no, they will not. And that would obviously be a bit of an issue. So, uh, yeah, we need to get that going ASAP as well. Okay, so we are about to finish the steam hub. Again, should not have done that. Let's go for the drawing boards next and start rushing out those hot houses as quick as we can. I also really want to build a bridge and start accessing these because it's not going to be that much longer, I think, before uh, some of these gathering posts cease to be useful to me. This one only has a little bit more, etc., etc. You know what I mean? So it's, it's not going to be that much longer before we're going to have some problems. I'm going to let the children work over here. Let's go ahead and send some regular workers to the sawmill. We'll do some extended hours as we often do. Now that we are a little bit warmer, I'm okay working a little bit further outside of our uh, typical working range. Uh, what's going on over here? This is double rations for kids. Hilarious! Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Hey, I'm gonna pull off five kids here real quick, and let's just make a handful of rations, because some people are starving, and if they eat my raw food, well then that's a problem. So we'll go ahead and do this. We've made a few rations, and I think that's all we can get at the moment, so get back to work elsewhere. <laughs> And this is why I don't like having to rely so heavily on these Hunter's Lodges. They are, um, they are not exactly the most effective now, are they? Uh, let's see, what else are we able to work on right now? More Steam Hubs. Yeah, great. Okay, I, I don't think we should have done that. I think we made a horrible mistake. We got some more raw food. Okay, wait. Before pe no, people stop eating the raw food. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some meals. I'm gonna make some soup, okay? We're gonna get a few rations, and there you go. That's all I got. I don't have anything else for a moment. But that at least will tide some of you over so you stop starving and eating raw food. Okay, now, scouts, where to go? Um, if we go to snow-covered supplies, that could be pretty good. We could get out to a barren hollow, a snow dune. Um, I think we're going to go to the abandoned sawmill. We do need some lumber in order to build some more bridges, and that could be helpful. Speaking of bridges, we could actually build that right about now. And that'll be fine. I probably will do that tonight if we can. Now that we have some extra workers, I think that's definitely worth doing. Uh, let's pull off the regular workers and send children here. Let's send some engineers here. Um, we can send probably a few more kids in this way, but we don't need to. We don't have any raw food. Six more engineers and 25 regular workers. Let's get some more lumber going over here. And... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kind of wondering if we need to get another medical post. I'm hoping not. Um, we have enough workers that I could get another hunter's lodge. But I'm not sure that's what's going to be best. I think what we do is we actually just go ahead and place another workshop. And I know that destroys some trees that we were just now trying to harvest. But we still have another 225 wood to gather right here. Before I'll dismantle and relocate up over here as was originally intended. Getting some more engineers working on research a little faster will help make up the difference as far as where I think I screwed up. With our, um... Uh, with our, uh, with our technology and our steam hubs. Um, so the bridge needs 200 wood, huh? 200 wood, huh? Well, let's go ahead and assign a few more workers here. Uh, we have another law we can use. So, adaptation, um, wait, moonshine's not an option? Are you serious? Where's my moonshine? Okay, no moonshine. Um, well, crap, that changes things. Uh, corpse disposal, we're gonna go ahead and sign this because I want to start working toward those, uh, organ transplants. That's going to make my life a little bit easier by using someone else's unfortunate demise and healing other people a little faster. And we know we need that, so that's that's absolutely crucial. Okay, um, let's see. We still have a few extra workers sitting around and doing nothing at the moment. Um, we will gather up some more wood a little faster at this gathering post. We can probably turn this down even though it's a little bit cold. We can send some more people over here and some engineers as well. Just trying to gather what's left a little bit faster. I think we'll get just enough rations that we can kind of keep tiding ourselves over briefly. We do need to get some houses, and that's one real trick. So what am I going to do with that? Well, if I were to... Eh, it's not a really efficient placement. If I were to build some houses over here and place a steam hub right here, that would work. We need four houses, so I think we need to do this tonight. We'll build some of this up. Yeah. We'll do that, get that going. Uh, I didn't want to spend more wood, but I think we're going to have to. Um, how many workers here are sick? Only one's currently sick. We have an extra engineer available. Let's, uh, let's dismiss the guy who's currently in treatment and send the extra engineer just so we can get a teeny bit more uh, efficiency going. You guys don't have extended hours? Yes, you do. Okay, so you're all fine. Um, we'll get a few more rations later. 
Temperature is about to rise. We can go ahead and turn off some heaters. I know there's a risk of some people getting sick, but I think that's okay. Let's use a little bit more overdrive just to help tide us through the night and kind of reduce how many people are going to be getting sick. Snow pit has been established. Okay, so we have a place to dump our corpses. I would like to think that no one's going to die, but that's realistically just not going to happen. We all know you're all going to die. Um, let's see, where are those engineers? We had five sent down over here that we don't need. Let's send them to the workshop and do extended hours on that as well. Make sure that we've got that everywhere. Okay, so we'll be able to try to research a little bit faster once day hits. Doing okay on steel, just needs some serious lumber. Get the lumber together, and we can build a bridge and start accessing some new resources right when these gathering posts are about to finish up. Right? Pretty sure that's exactly how it's going to work. All right, houses are done. That's good. Temperature's going to rise. That's good. I'll probably be able to turn off the generator. Stress levels are critical, you say. Uh, yeah, let's turn that off. We'll give it a chance to kind of uh, rejuvenate itself, especially since we know that the temperature is going to be dropping a couple of levels in about two days or so. Um, okay. So you guys still aren't done with the drafting boards. I'm going to go ahead and do um, one more emergency shift. Hoping not to have to do this too often, but we want to get some more um, progress during the, uh, during the night hours. If you don't know how workshops work, um, every additional workshop doesn't, like, double or triple how much uh, research speed you've got. It only... Um, has it increases it by like 30 or so percent, and then it goes down for each consecutive one you build. So it's something on the order of like 30 percent, then 20 percent, then 10 percent, or something. Maybe it's 40. I don't know. The point though is uh, you only get a little bit of extra during the day, but during night, that's like eight or so hours where there's no research where you could be getting 100 percent just by using an emergency shift. It's a very good strategy, I find, to try and eke out a little bit of extra research. Just always have these guys running at all times. Okay. Hot houses we need right now. I wanted to get the scouting teams, but we need hot houses or else we are all going to starve to death. Okay? Okay, temperature rises. Thank God. So, let's go ahead and turn off any of these heaters. These are not needed. And we can even turn off the generator. I think I will go ahead and do that. Let's shut her down for a bit. And yeah, some people will be upset by that a little bit, but that's fine by me. Really not too worried. Uh, let's pull off of this and just try to create a few more rations temporarily using our raw food before people start eating it. And that's all we got. Okay, pull back here, and I guess go back here. Still have quite a few people sick, unfortunately. Um, building another medical post would solve that issue, but we can't at the moment. This gathering post is done, so let's go ahead and dismantle there. Nothing to be done. Um, and we don't yet have enough lumber to get the bridge... Where can I get more lumber just from here? We are getting about 10 per hour. In a couple of hours, we'll be able to build the bridge. Okay, let's 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 go for that. Um, I'm going to try to build it to 200. There it is. All right. Time to build a bridge. Let's do it right here. My goal is to get this bridge built so we can then place down some gathering posts and really start gathering a lot out of this area. These wooden crates are going to get in the way. Um, what would be very convenient, since I'm already going to be building a lot of gathering posts, would be to set up some room for, like, a coal thumper or two in this area with gathering posts all around and then not have to dismantle anything. Heck, I could even place my hothouses over here if I wanted to and just kind of have them all work off of the same steam hub, which is very tempting. Or I could do the same sort of thing right over here with some of our hothouses. I'm not too sure yet. So adaptation. Now we want to go for the organ transplants. And that's going to speed up how quickly people are going to be recovering. So that'll shave off at least a couple of hours per day, which I think is well worth it. I think it's like four hours out of 24, something like that. So that helps. That helps quite a bit. Uh, somebody died. All right. That was always likely to happen um, as far as our engineers. So we can pull off one engineer here and go and reassign right here. There we go. Still trying to get as much work out of them as possible. Uh, we do need to be focusing hard on this. Um, we've got a few workers and some children with nothing to do. Children go here. Um, do we have any extra children? We have one. Any safe jobs I can put them on? Answer, no. Just cooking. We'll put you here, I guess. Um, I was hoping to free up some adults so more people could work on the bridge, but I think the only people who could work on the bridge are currently sick and not doing anything. All right. Coal piles have been depleted. Steel wreckages have been depleted. I think that this is now done and ready to go elsewhere. All the more reason we really need to be building up this bridge as quick as we can, please. Uh, and you guys are almost done with the hothouses. I don't think I can really wait 
on the hot houses, or uh, wait on the bridge in order to place these. I think I need to get a hot house going like now. So let's go and place. Can't fit there. They're very large. Is part of the problem. Um, where am I going to be placing steam hubs? Because if we think about this for a second, uh, we know that uh, these guys are going to require some extra heaters and some steam hubs once the temperature drops a lot. Um, no way around that. If I were to place one here, we could do this. It's not... It's a very bad placement. You can see it takes up a lot of space. It could be a smaller zone if we did this. I kind of wish the sawmill wasn't here anymore, actually. There's only 84 wood left. Dismantle this. We're going to move it elsewhere. I think we can be more efficient with our hothouses. I can place two right here, and then we can easily place a steam hub in this area. And that would be fine. Um, but I do want to build another sawmill up over here now. So we'll do that. Generator is down, but it's time to go ahead and start turning that back on. We have uh, plenty of coal coming in, and it is also nighttime. People are hungry. Let's feed them. I will feed everyone in the next few days. I promise. I just really, really, really need... To get these hot houses up and running, please. The bridge is getting built. Good, good, good. Um, you guys not dismantling this stuff fast enough for me. Um, what else can we research? Well, uh, we need the coal thumper. We know that. Um, but I also want scouts. So let's go ahead and start researching that next. Get some progress while we still have the 24-hour shift working. Sawmill is getting built. We can now build that cookhouse. Nope, not cookhouse. Sorry. Hot house. Something to do with houses. I don't know. Uh, if we place along here, let me think for a second. I think we place right here, and that still leaves enough space, right? Yes. So we're going to do that. Um, what's the fastest road? It'll probably be this. This is the cheapest one we can do. All right, do that. And you guys all need to work a little bit faster, please. Uh, steam cores. Good progress there. Okay. Um, we have lots of children jobs available, and that's one of the reasons I want to be getting um, these hot houses done. Okay. Now you guys can stop with the bridge nonsense and go work on that hot house. Come on. Please get me a little bit more food, guys. You can do it. I know you can. We'll sign people to work at this sawmill. That's going to get me another good source of lumber. This only has 73 left to go, so that's not too bad. We're actually okay in terms of um, healing people. Which is unexpected, but really great. Um, I don't know why workers aren't... There we go. Now they're reassigning and starting to build things. Thank you, Lordy. All right. Children assigned here. Okay. So we should be able to get a pretty good amount of food. Is anybody sick? No. But some are very hungry. That's fine. So we're producing some consistent food now, which we can start turning into much-needed soup. Uh, we'll work extra hours, at least temporarily. We have to wait for the workers to arrive, which is one thing that's weird. Some buildings in this game, um, as long as they're on the way, they will be gathering the resource, and some you have to actually be on site. We have arrived at the abandoned sawmill, which gets me some lumber. Good. Then from there, we can go to a rock formation, which usually has something, so we'll pick something up there. Uh, you only have coal left. Okay. We need to build a second hothouse. Uh, I'm going to place it right here, because I need the extra food production. We know that. I'll be able to sign some children here once these uh, jobs are done. Okay. So, child, are you actually on your way? No, you're going to treatment. Dismiss. Get out of here. Um, other children, go work. I don't know. Is somebody able to make food? Finally, some rations, but you guys are eating all the good stuff. Stop it. All right. Scouts available. Perfect. We do need that. Now, um, heating I can hold off on for a minute. Medical post upgrade would be great in that we can treat people a lot faster and get them back to work. Uh, alternatively, the coal thumper is something I know I need. So let's go ahead and start researching that. Okay. Um, we have, I think, five... Yeah, we have five workers available right now. If we want to, we can go and create another scouting team. That said, I first want to assign people to some sort of a job so that I can make sure we get only the sick people. Um, where do we have a lot of workers? Here? Do we have anybody who's sick? No. Let me check something. Five of these guys. So what I want to do is make sure that five sick people go become our scouts. I do not want our starving people to become scouts. So let's wait until this um, hothouse is done building, which should be relatively quick. 
then we can move them into this job and ensure that we are sending the right people out. So we'll do this, and then we are going to dismiss, dismiss up to five of them. And that ensures that five six pe sick people are going to become my next scouting party. Okay, you guys are going to go to... So here's the thing. I could go to the snow-covered supplies, and I think we should. I was going to say, so the way that this often works, it's not always the case, but the way that it often works, the first round or zone of scouting potential areas uh, always have materials, then the second round usually does not, though there's an exception, I know the rock formation can, and then the third almost always can have something. So coming out here would be a waste of time in that there'd be nothing here, but beyond that there might be something great. Really hard to say for sure. Uh, I think this coal pile is gone, so let's go ahead and dismantle that. Pull the workers off, send some children so we can now make some more food per hour. We want these guys working long hours. And now we can start gaining some actual rations. Okay, I think food-wise we're now fine. I am not going to do a burial for anybody here. Sorry, that's just not going to end up being an option for you. Uh, and that leaves me with five workers with nothing to do at the moment. Okay, they can dismantle if they want. That's fine. But what I really need to do... Let's think. With two hothouses, I actually don't need this hunter's hut anymore. I am going to dismantle this. We're going to get rid of it. Um, and I don't think I need this. So we're going to pull all these workers off, and we are going to start building some gathering posts and stuff over here, and quickly. So let's do... How do I want to do this? Let's think for a second. I'm going to place down a road, and it's going to follow along here, I think. This should be efficient. We'll do that. Then we want to place roads... Probably sort of straight along here. I may get rid of some of these streets, so bear with me. Um, gathering post. I want to make sure we are able to gather here and here. So we can have both of these being gathered up. And then I want to have some over here as well. If I place along the same radius like this, we can gather everything here. And then I could probably fit a coal thumper in between them. And that's very efficient. I don't remember how big a coal thumper is. That's the only problem. This might be okay. If we place, like, here, I think we're definitely okay. We could possibly do this. Um, the reason I want this all clustered together is I'm trying to future-proof where I'm going to be placing um, my steam hub in order to make sure that all these guys are taken care of throughout the day. I would like to leave room for a second coal thumper. Um, I think here is okay, I think. So I'm going to place one there, and we'll need to get a road off this direction as well. Okay. That is going to be a bunch of jobs for children and regular workers, so we can start gathering up all the steel and the wood and other such materials we know we are going to need. And now that we don't need these uh, hunter's huts, I think mean, that really gives us so much extra labor. So much extra labor. Now, one problem is that the temperature is about to, you know, drop again. Um, we're going to go ahead and shut down temporarily. Somebody died? Where? Why? How? I don't see why somebody had to die. All right. Somebody's dead for reasons unknown. Um, I think it was a child or something. There was medical capacity. You guys were fine. I don't know what's happened there. I don't know why somebody died. All right. Well, this is why we have, um, we have snow pits, and eventually I can turn your bodies into fertilizer. So it's, it may be cruel, but waste not, want not, right? I mean, yeah, that's... That's how it's going to work. All right, nighttime is well on the way. There's the coal thumper. Let's just double check that I am correct about placement. Uh, you can actually middle click your mouse and rotate if you didn't know. Yep, that should fit about perfectly. Okay, so we need to clear this out first, but we will be able to place down a coal thumper or two in this vicinity. We need four gathering posts, I think, for every one coal thumper in general. So we'll do this. And that will let these guys work pretty efficiently everywhere here, and I can place down a steam hub. And also eventually a shrine if we're going to go down the faith route, which increases the efficiency of everything. And I can even build more over here with the same steam hub. Either medical posts, or other infirmaries, or something. I don't know. Alright, so with that done, what do we go to next? Um, the medical post upgrade, we're actually okay-ish on that for now, though that's about to change. Um, but I think temporarily what we want to do is go for drafting machines, but I need more wood. Um, you know something? Cancel this for now. We haven't built everything as is. Um, is this... Can we get some more lumber in time? I need 75. We can't. Okay. Um, if you guys dismantle this, that'll give me enough lumber, and I can get you guys doing another emergency shift, and we can start working on the drafting boards. 
Or not the drafting boards, whatever the next one is called. You know what I mean. Generator's down, I know, I know. Let's turn it back on. Oh, it's cold, it's cold, I know. Shush. All right, the reason I want drafting machines right now is because we will be able to go for the infirmary early and use up my last steam core, and that will give us so much more medical capacity. I mean, one way you can survive an extreme endless mode is simply keep everyone healthy, because if everyone starts getting sick, then all of a sudden everything falls apart and you're in a lot of trouble. I mean a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and do a little overdrive action there just so we can get a little bit more heat going. Uh, we have some more laws available. What do we want? I don't think we need any of this right now. I think we're going to go to the purpose and we're going to go to House of Prayer. And that will lead to things like shrines where we will be able to... Um, we'll be able to get some extra productivity out of our food, out of our medical posts, out of our research, out of everything. So we want those. Those are going to be very, very helpful. Now I have to build a couple Houses of Prayer technically to fulfill a mission, but I don't really want to, so meh, meh, I don't know about that. Uh, this sawmill is done. Oh, okay, let's go ahead and dismantle that sucker then, and we'll have to go get some more. Um, before the temperature drops, let's get people, whoops, that's not what I want, let's people to go and set up another sawmill right here, and we'll be uh, able to gather up these trees a little bit faster. If the temperature drops, these guys are going to get sick on the way to the job trying to set this all up, right? So... Uh, my hope is we can try to avoid a lot of that nonsense. Okay, um, not much more we can do in rations. Let's take a look at the statistics for our economy. So we are producing 67 raw food per day just out of these two hothouses, and I can turn that all into soup, which means we are cur- 559 is not correct. We are gaining 168 rations per day right now, which is more than enough. So that's huge. So having these two hothouses was definitely enough to solve so many problems. So I feel comfortable leaving these guys working for a bit. We actually don't need this many children working here. Uh, just a couple will be probably fine. Let's go ahead and set up some kids over to the gathering posts over here and some adults over here as well. And we actually, I think we do now have enough wood that we can place the other gathering posts as originally desired. So let's do that. And if we can get a little bit more lumber, I can place down a steam hub and that's going to protect you guys with the temperature drop coming up very, very soon. Right? Right. All right, the overdrive should be keeping people mostly healthy. Um, people are getting food, so we're no longer starving. So this is great. Good, 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 good. Uh, we are able to get some more people working at the sawmill. There's a thousand lumber to be had in this forest, which is awesome. And that leaves me with seven more workers that we can use at the uh, gathering post when that time comes. Okay. Okay, I feel like we are on top of things at the moment. This is okay. If we can clear out this pile, I'll place down this coal thumper and where I want it. We got some time on coal, we're okay. I say that. Uh, we don't have any more coal anywhere, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, we don't have any coal piles. The only coal we're going to get in the future is whatever we can place from a coal thumper. So we do need to do that. But we got ourselves a little bit of time. A little bit of time. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. Um, we're going to need to get some more housing at some point when we find more survivors, but we don't have any at the moment, so we're okay. Uh, I will need to be placing down those steam hubs. And one right here will protect um, everything in this general vicinity. Now, one thing I don't know... How many houses can I fit? Uh, I can't see until I get some more wood. How many houses do you think I can fit here? Three? Four? What if we move the cookhouse over here? Because right now, it's going to be so cold that we can't actually use this. Let's dismantle it and move it. I can place it over here, and I can have a steam hub up and running. Oh, actually, real quick, we need a steam hub over here, too. Yeah. Uh, let's turn on the heaters. That solves the immediate issue, because the temperature just dropped. Steam hub right here will keep everyone protected, right? Yeah, these houses are too cold for me. Okay. Um, this is fine. We'll place a steam hub here, and we also want to place one probably right down here. Ah, no! It's not actually quite enough range. It's just barely not enough range to actually reach all four of the gathering posts. Crap! Okay. Um, what I can do then is... I can leave you for now, but we're going to remove you and we're going to have to place you somewhere else. Even if it's temporary, I, I, I can't... Yeah, I gotta be careful with my Steam Hub placement. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, so, do we not place one here? We did not. I have to place it here if I want to reach these houses, so that's going to have to be okay. 
Um, the overdrive is doing its thing. I'm going to temporarily turn it off now. People are all getting off to their jobs, and that's okay. We got enough rations. People should be working. Only a couple of people are sick, which actually means we could free up some engineers to go and do something else. Do I have any empty jobs anywhere? Uh, the answer is, at the moment, no. Maybe just here. Uh, I'm okay with pulling off one, two, three engineers and sending them to work here. Uh, although, actually, we can send some kids instead, and that would also work just fine. So you know what? Well, let's just leave the engineers to go around and help build things. Is that okay? I think that's okay. Let's uh, break this down. We've arrived at the rock formation. We find nothing, but there is a large crater. That means survivors. Craters have survivors. Okay, we're going there. We're going to get some more people. Good, good, good. All right, cookhouse is done. Let us place that somewhere else where I know I'm going to be future-proofed in terms of heating. Although, wait a minute. I could actually fit... I could fit like three or four houses here, though. I don't want to place a cookhouse here. That's inefficient. I can't place a house here, but I could fit two. Uh, ooh, um, mm. I place a cookhouse over here? This is a dumb place for a cookhouse, isn't it? But it's next to a steam hub. But I'm building a steam hub over here anyway. If I place a cookhouse right here next to the food. Yes. Cookhouse is going to go right here. And I need to place a steam hub where I can get, so like right here. So we need enough road to get to this point. Okay, I will place something like this, I think. Four wood. Okay. And then we will place down a steam hub right here. Perfect. And that way I'll be able to turn off the um, heaters, save a little bit of cold using just a steam hub, and keep these guys up and a running. And that'll get me some much needed food production. Okay, we still have a couple of kids who are actually working nowhere now that I think about it because we don't have a cookhouse. Ha ha ha, yes. Um, we're okay on rations for the moment. We can live without a cookhouse for a little bit as long as nobody is starving. We're going to be fine. There's the drafting machines done. Can I get to the infirmary? Not until I get the medical post upgrade. Let's start researching that next. Goal is to get to the infirmaries so that I can place a couple of those down, and that will future-proof me for any more medical needs for a good long while. Okay, I think we are kind of on top of things at the moment. I feel reasonably okay with where things are going. Clear this sucker out, and we will go ahead and place down a coal thumper. Coal is our next big threat. If we don't have any more coal, we will not survive when the storm comes and when the temperature drops again. But if we can do that, we'll be fine. Let's also pay attention to the fact that we have 90... We have about 140 steel left on the map. Uh, which means we only barely have enough to build another bridge. If we do not find some steel on the overworld map soon, um, we may be in some trouble. I will not be able to build half the things I want to build until we have actually gotten this bridge. That is actually unacceptable. We really need to find some steel. Okay, thank you all for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.